My fellow Americans, I'm proud to have served in the Army, the Congress, the White House, Chief of Staff, CIA Director, and Secretary of Defense. I've looked into the eyes of our warriors and deployed them into battle. I gave the order directing our Special Operations Forces to fly two helicopters 150 miles into Abbottabad at night. And by the time the sun rose, Osama bin Laden was dead. Because, because nobody attacks our country and gets away with it. Nobody. That's, that's what our warriors do. That's what our warriors do. Our warriors need a tough, cool-headed commander-in-chief to defend our democracy from tyrants and terrorists. We need Kamala Harris behind the resolute desk. She knows. She knows a tyrant when she sees one. And our allies know a leader when they see one. On the Senate Intelligence Committee and as Vice President, she worked with more than 150 world leaders. She's looked our allies in the eye and said, America has your back. Trump would abandon our allies and isolate America. We tried that in the 1930s. It was foolish and dangerous then, and it's foolish and dangerous now. Listen to President Reagan. President Reagan, isolationism never was and never will be an acceptable response to tyrannical governments. Never. <laughs> Trump tells tyrants like Putin they can do whatever the hell they want. Kamala Harris tells tyrants the hell you can, not on my watch. <laughs> She's worked with President Zelensky to fight back against Russia. She knows that protecting their democracy protects our democracy as well. Look, Donald Trump does not understand the world. And he does not understand the service and sacrifice of our military. Our fallen veterans are not suckers. They are not losers. They are our heroes. <laughs> Kamala Harris will honor our veterans. And in Tim Waltz, we will have a vice president who has served in uniform honorably for 24 years. <laughs> Kamala Harris understands this moment. It is a moment of danger and a moment of opportunity. She'll keep America's military the strongest in the world, the strongest ever known. And she understands what our military is for. The role of our military is to defend us from foreign enemies. It is not to threaten Americans, and it sure as hell isn't to put immigrants in camps.
Every president, every president since World War II, Republican and Democrat, has shared the belief that America must protect democracy in the world. Every president has honored our veterans and their sacrifices. Every president, but one, but one. So we face a critical choice, to vote for someone who stands with our military and stands up for democracy, or someone who will disrespect our heroes and undermine our democracy. My fellow Americans, there is only one choice. One choice. And let me tell you something. When she takes her oath of office, as she will this January, our allies will cheer, our enemies will fear, and we will have a commander-in-chief that we can trust. God bless our veterans, and God bless our country.